Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Kehla Chari Torah's daily review of Hilchas Purim, the laws and customs of the holiday of Purim, coming up very soon for Monday, February 28th. Uh, the, we are uh, supposed to uh, avoid any other activities uh, that may delay us from reading the Megillah on time, uh, speaking mainly about, uh, about uh, Wednesday night uh, when it comes time for reading Megillah, which is about 7.29, 7.31, somewhere in there is the earliest time to read Megillah. One, once the time for Megillah reading has arrived, one should not take a nap. Uh, before hearing the Megillah, out of concern that one may oversleep and miss hearing the Megillah. Some opinions prohibit initiating Torah study at home once the earliest time for Megillah readings arrive. One should hasten to do the mitzvah. Uh, one should not eat before the nighttime Megillah reading, even though halakhically speaking, the fast is over. However, a person who is sick or is having a difficult fast and needs to eat or drink can be lenient uh, according to the following guidelines. One can eat a small amount of bread, uh, which uh, uh, slightly less than two fluid ounces, according to Moshe Feinstein, that much displacement, about one slice of bread from the middle of an average uh, loaf. Uh, some authorities maintain the same guidelines as those for eating bread, applied to all mazonos, foods, cakes, uh, cookies, and such. Others maintain that you can eat up to four kebeim, about double that amount of uh, mazonos, which, uh, according to Rav Moshe, uh, is about uh, 7.5 fluid ounces of displacement. Cake, pasta, uh, pretzels, barley soup, and such. Uh, one may drink as much non-alcoholic fluid as one wants. Uh, one may eat as much fruit as is needed. All this uh, to uh, to uh, uh, keep one going so that you can have concentration to uh, properly pay attention to reading the Megillah. If this amount of food and drink will not suffice uh, and one is in danger of becoming ill, one may eat and drink as usual before hearing, hearing the Megillah. However, this person should appoint someone to remind him not to forget the Megillah reading. Sit down and eat all this stuff, uh, then uh, you may forget. Uh, we should not eat anything before the daytime reading the Megillah, even if you already dive in Shacharis. You can't have a hot drink, tea, or coffee uh, before Shacharis. If, uh, okay, we'll leave it there for, uh, for Megillah reading. We have to talk about uh, what to do, uh, as we did uh, get into last year, when a minion proves unavailable. Hopefully that will not be the challenge this year. Everybody will be able to uh, take full part in all the KST uh, uh, Purim festivities. Hope you'll join us. Hope you'll plan to join us both on Wednesday night and Thursday morning information forthcoming in your synagogue bulletin. Have a good day.